A-list actress Julia Roberts also has an A-list real estate portfolio. During her storied career, she's bought and sold homes from New York City to California and even in Hawaii, among others. Julia and her husband Danny Motor are quite private with their personal lives, but we know that they have long called a Point Doom Malibu estate their main residence since 2003. In more recent years, Julia also bought a stunning Victorian-style home in San Francisco for $8.3 million, spanning over 6,000 square feet of space. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Julia Roberts is an actress known for her leading roles in films of different genres, from dramas and rom-coms to thrillers and more. She has long been considered one of Hollywood's most bankable stars, and her films have earned over $100 million worldwide. Julia's also received a handful of awards and accolades over her successful career, including an Academy Award and three Golden Globe Awards. Julia is certainly a fan of purchasing beautiful real estate, and alongside her husband Danny Motor and their children, the family has lived in some beautiful places. Not only is her longtime main mansion in the exclusive Point Doom community of Malibu, she has bought and sold other properties properties within the same neighborhood. She's also enjoyed stunning vacation getaways in Hawaii, one of which sold in 2016 for a whopping $16.2 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're looking at the properties of Julia Roberts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. First up, we'll see the place that Julia Roberts considers her main family home in Malibu. Unfortunately, since she bought the house back in 2003 and started completely fresh, photos of the interior are slim to none. At the time of purchase, the estate cost her $6.4 million and it's situated atop of a bluff right on the ocean in the highly desirable Point Doom neighborhood of Malibu, California. Other celebrities who have lived in the same area or still do include the likes of Anthony Hopkins, Leonardo DiCaprio, Bob Dylan, and more. Julia tore down the 6,000 square foot home that existed at the time of purchase and constructed an eco-friendly mansion in its place powered by solar panels. It sits on a spacious acre of land and has steps leading down to a private beach and the beautiful ocean. Considering she got the property completely rebuilt, it came with an estimated price tag of $20 million in total. The mega mansion looks more like a resort from aerial views and the greenhouse also boasts eco-friendly appliances inside. It's reported that her mansion features five beds and six baths, and from aerial views, the home itself looks quite sprawling. From the street, there's no sight of her estate. It's protected with top-notch security, as well as the stunning wooden gates. The exterior of Julia's home also looks unique, with a tropical resort vibe thanks to the wooden beams lining the roof. While the interior remains largely a mystery, Julia has revealed some minor glimpses inside. She and her husband are notoriously private, but last year, they showed a photo from their twins, Hazel and Phineas's 17th birthdays. The family was enjoying breakfast inside the rarely seen Malibu home, sitting at the table in the open plan living room with many chic details. We could see in the background a sofa bench, along with a cream rug and wooden coffee table. Aside from the twins, Julia and Danny also share son Henry, who's a couple of years younger, and the parents work hard to give their kids a private life outside of the spotlight. Well, aside from their main residence, in 2015, Julia and Danny purchased another Point Doom house, just a short walk away from this one. This new place was a fixer-upper, costing the couple $3.9 million, but since there was a lot of work to be done at the time of purchase, there were no interior photos. Although the house may appear unimpressive at first, Julia did quite the job giving it the full pretty woman treatment. After it was renovated, she actually listed the home for rent at 10.5k per month, so Julia would be both your landlord and neighbor. Once the was presentable, the ranch style space offered beamed ceilings and hardwood floors with a living room containing a white brick fireplace. The entire 1,620 square foot house came unfurnished to rent as well and had three beds and one bath. But it looks like Julia added a second bathroom during the remodel. The eating kitchen had a white brick wall and 
new stainless steel appliances as well as a wood topped center breakfast island. They kept the blue gray paint on the exterior of the home and the property also has a small green guest house along with a two car garage. Sadly, there's no pool on the one acre property, but it does come with a key to the gates of Malibu's Riviera Beach, also known as Little Doom. In 2020, Julia also offloaded another neighboring property she had collected in the Point Doom neighborhood. The couple sold this spare Malibu home in an off market deal for $8 million to a Silicon Valley based hedge fund tycoon, making a tiny bit of a profit because they had bought it for $7.45 million in 2016. The 1.2 acre estate lies right across the street from Julia and Danny's longtime family home in the area and stands a modest 1,770 square feet of space, packing in four bedrooms and three baths. The buyer, Thomas LaFont, conveniently owned the home right next door too, which is a $13 million ranch. So it seems like this one was just a bit of an add-on. The beachfront cottage home spanned one level with a sliding glass door for a front door opening directly into a casual dining area. There's also a sunlit kitchen with stainless steel appliances, as well as a spacious living room with vaulted ceilings and white walls. The real selling point of this bungalow was the property though, with its sprawling lot that was fully landscaped with grassy lawns and private hedges, as well as lush plants. There were also plenty of terraces and secluded patios to hang out or entertain al fresco. In more recent years, Julia surprised us all when she hopped on some real estate outside of Malibu, setting her sights on San Francisco. In 2020, the actress bought a century-old Victorian revival-style house in the Presidio Heights neighborhood of San Francisco for $8.3 million, according to property records. The prime location offers views of the San Francisco Bay and the Golden Gate Bridge right from her new place, and the area is known for its high-end family home. Her historic five-floor house was designed around 1907 and renovated since, featuring all the modern amenities that one could need, while keeping some classic details. Inside, the home spans 6,245 square feet with five beds and 4.5 baths. The home has a partial slate roof and was remodeled by interior designer John Wheatman. The main level offers a large entryway with leaded windows, as well as a living room with fireplace and built-in. While also on this level, there's the formal dining room and the custom kitchen with bonuses like a walk-in pantry and breakfast bar. Other highlights include a wet bar, wine fridge, and desk area, while off the kitchen you'll find a back hallway with stairs to the upper floors. The second floor of the home has a grand staircase with stained glass windows and a total of four beds and two baths with the south bedroom boasting a fireplace and the north bedroom offering views of the bay and golden gate as well as a sun porch. Moving up to the next floor, you'll find Julia and Danny master suite with more A plus views and a walk out balcony and skylight. There's also a dressing room, walk in closet, and a large remodeled bath with split vanities. Other features of this home include a two car garage and a mid floor area with skylight that can be used as an office area and another large guest or bonus room here as well. And we aren't even done with the floors yet. Moving down from the kitchen, the level below offers a screening room as well as a full bath, 1000 bottle wine set cellar, mudroom, and the laundry room. Designer barn doors lead to the lowest level, which at this point is starting to sound like a bunkie, way underground. But actually, here you'll find a built-in dog bath and French doors out to the garden. Outside of Julia's property, there's a rear patio and garden, as well as a deck with barbecue. But since this is San Francisco, after all, there's little room for much else outside. After looking at the homes of Julia Roberts, we can see that the actress has some stunning taste in real estate. It's said that she still maintains a vacation vacation getaway in Hawaii, despite selling one property here for over $16 million in 2016, but she spends most of her time in Malibu with her family as far as we know. Well, that about wraps up this house tour. After checking out Julia's homes, which was your fave location? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another house tour. Bye.